In the intricate dynamics of a toxic relationship, ambient abuse stands out as a particularly insidious form of domestic violence, often cloaked in the shadow of what many mistakenly perceive as normalcy. This elusive psychological strand of domestic abuse, predominantly manifesting in narcissistic relationships, exerts control and instills fear not through overt acts of violence but through the subtle manipulation of the environment and psychological well-being of the victim. The consequences of such abuse can be devastating, eroding a person's sense of reality and self-worth. Yet, it remains one of the least understood and most overlooked aspects of domestic violence against women and men alike. By bringing awareness to the signs of toxic relationships and the cycle of abuse, we can begin to understand the complex nature of narcissistic abuse and the profound impact it has on individuals. This article aims to shed light on the hidden dangers of ambient abuse within narcissistic relationships, exploring its common tactics, such as the example of narcissistic behavior that perpetuates this cycle of abuse and detailing the long-term consequences it bears on emotional and mental health. We will delve into the types of domestic violence, with a focus on the psychological aspects that define ambient abuse, offering insights into the causes of domestic violence, and providing practical strategies for recognizing toxic relationship signs. Understanding what constitutes a narcissistic abuser and the effects of domestic violence lays the groundwork for empowering victims to respond effectively to ambient abuse. Through education and advocacy, we can support those affected by this form of abuse and foster environments where healthy relationships can thrive, free from the shadow of manipulation and fear. Definition and Characteristics Ambient abuse, often intertwined with gaslighting, is a covert form of psychological abuse that is hard to detect and diagnose, making it exceptionally harmful. It involves subtle manipulations and psychological control tactics, such as denying events, blocking information, and invalidating the victim's experiences. These behaviors foster an atmosphere of fear and confusion, enhancing the abuser's control and diminishing the victim's self-worth. Psychological Effects on Victims Victims of ambient abuse experience severe psychological impacts, including a distorted sense of reality and self-doubt. This abuse leads to cognitive dissonance and a loss of personal agency as the victim is coerced into accepting the abuser's constructed reality. Over time, this can result in emotional paralysis, paranoia, and a profound sense of isolation, often culminating in a pathological attachment to the abuser, akin to Stockholm Syndrome. Subtle Manipulation Techniques Ambient abusers deploy a series of subtle manipulation tactics designed to confuse and control their victims. These tactics include denying the existence of events even when evidence is presented, blocking access to information, and deflecting blame onto the victim. Such actions create an environment of doubt and insecurity, making it difficult for the victim to trust their own perceptions and memories. Gaslighting and Disinformation Gaslighting is a core strategy in ambient abuse, where false information is systematically presented to make victims doubt their own memory and perception. This psychological manipulation involves persistent denial, lying, and the use of plausible but misleading information to destabilize the victim. Over time, this relentless undermining erodes the victim's self-confidence and sense of reality, often leading them to question their sanity. Impact on Mental Health Ambient abuse, particularly when prolonged, can severely impact mental health, leading to conditions such as depression, anxiety, and even post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Victims may experience chronic pain, guilt, and insomnia, which are compounded by the stress and fear of the abusive environment. Over time, this can escalate to more severe psychological issues, including suicidal thoughts and behaviors, as the victim's mental well-being deteriorates under the constant strain. Erosion of Self-Esteem The strategic undermining of a victim's self-esteem is a common tactic in ambient abuse. Abusers may isolate their targets, criticize them incessantly, and manipulate their perceptions of reality through gaslighting, leading to profound self-doubt and low self-esteem. This erosion of self-confidence makes it challenging for victims to trust their own judgments and instincts, increasing dependency on the abuser and making it harder to leave the toxic relationship. Identifying Red Flags Recognizing the signs of ambient abuse is crucial. Look for patterns of behavior that include excessive jealousy, constant checking of your whereabouts, and demands for password access. If your partner criticizes you excessively or puts you down, these are red flags. 
pay attention to any attempts to isolate you from friends and family, as well as efforts to control aspects of your life like dressing or social media usage. Steps to take for protection. If you identify signs of ambient abuse, prioritize your safety. Plan an exit strategy discreetly, ensuring it's safe before making any moves. Seek support from trusted individuals and consider contacting organizations like the Hotline for guidance and resources. Establish clear boundaries with the abuser if interaction is unavoidable, and focus on maintaining your mental health through professional help or supportive networks. Through the exploration of ambient abuse within narcissistic relationships, this article has illuminated the insidious nature of this form of domestic violence, underscoring its devastating impact on victims' mental and emotional well-being. The analysis delved into the common tactics employed by abusers, such as gaslighting and psychological manipulation, which serve to undermine the victim's reality and self-esteem. By highlighting these aspects, the piece raises awareness and empowers individuals to recognize and address this often overlooked form of abuse. Furthermore, the discussions on the long-term consequences of ambient abuse and the strategies for recognizing and responding to such toxic dynamics offer critical insights for victims and their support networks. The emphasis on taking proactive steps towards safety and recovery underscores the article's broader implications, fostering a deeper understanding of narcissistic abuse's complexity and encouraging a societal push towards more supportive structures for survivors. In doing so, it contributes to the ongoing dialogue on domestic violence, advocating for a future where healthy relationships are the norm, free from the shadows of manipulation and fear. To counteract a narcissist's sense of superiority and hold them accountable, phrases like no, accountability, consequences, and empathy are powerful. It's crucial to establish boundaries and assert yourself in interactions with a narcissist. Narcissistic abuse doesn't just impact your mental health. It's also linked to long term physical health issues. This connection between mind and body can manifest as sleep disturbances, headaches, muscle tension, and gastrointestinal problems due to the stress and emotional turmoil caused by the abuse. Narcissistic abuse can feel like a form of brainwashing, eroding your sense of self worth and identity. Victims often feel as though they've lost touch with who they were before the abuse, making it a deeply damaging experience. According to 1 Corinthians 7:15, if an individual, including a narcissist, cannot coexist with you peacefully, it's advised to let them live separately from you. This suggests a biblical endorsement for maintaining peace in your life, even if it means distancing yourself from those who disrupt it.